All right, guys, what's going on? It's Camel Money Beats, and I'm coming at you today with a tutorial on Instacord. Now, I have my last video on how to set it up, and if you want to do that, there's definitely links above and below for that. But today, we're just going to jump right in on Instacord and how to use it and really what it's all about. So I'm going to load up one of their templates, and I can click here, and they have all these templates of cords and things ready to go. Just for explaining it, I'm going to pull up a random one, but just know you can always add your own cords of any kind. If you just want to click on one of these guys, click on this thing, and your cord is in the bank ready to go. But just for today, let's pull up one of these guys, and we'll see what's going on. So this is all of Instacord. And if you don't have Instacord, I'm telling you, for $15, you're not going to get a plugin that's better and can do what this can what this, excuse me, what this thing can do for your stuff. Check this out. So you're going to have a few things to look at and kind of learn, but once you kind of understand it, it's super smooth. Here's what's going on. This down here is your physical keyboard, and this section is what is going to correspond to when you're triggering things on your keyboard. So take a notice. So first right now, I'm hitting just chords in this little area of the chord section. And what this is saying to the, the program is only trigger notes or chords that are in this pattern. So notice how like when I touch this, it highlights this chord and you see these individual notes kind of highlighted there. That is going to tell Instacord only mess with this chord while I'm holding this down. Now, I, if I want, I can change to another chord Boom, I'm now triggering that B tritone basic chord here. And you can see I'm holding this here. And now instead of these initial notes, you're seeing these notes that are here, there. So, okay, great. So you can kind of set chord structures, but then what? Like, what are you supposed to do with it? So that is when you come down to these other sections, the picks A and picks B. Now, technically, you can set this up however you want. You can have all these different play styles on any of these picks A or picks B section. And all you do is you just on these little double lines, you click and you have all these options. You can have, you can have single notes, you can have hits, you can do guitar strums up and down, you know, it's all these options, very slow, one, two, three, four, five, you know, all these things. So, and some of these presets, they'll kind of have things ready to go on the side here and all these actions here. I would generally say, to mess with something along this line of a setup where you're gonna have your picks A be very basic, only hitting single notes, and your picks B, which is this section over here, is when you're gonna hit the chords. So let me show you how this works. So let's say we're triggering chords out of the first chord set, right? So again, I'm holding down this chord with my left hand, and what I can do with my right hand is now hit these picks. So you can see here, this one says strum down fast, strum up fast. So I can trigger these chords to play with these patterns depending on which pick I'm hitting while holding down this chord A. So check this out. I'm having this here, watch, here we go. You see that? So that's just from holding this down and triggering this, right? If I go over to another chord, now it's different notes, but I can do the same strum pattern. So, okay, go to another chord. Right, this is kind of like a weird chromatic scale, so probably not the best scale, but the point is, that you can set these notes and you can trigger them in any way possible. Let's just go to another one just so we can get something sounding a little bit nicer. Let's say this one, right? Same concept. I'm going to hit this chord down. Okay. I like that. Let's see. Okay. So you can record that down. Um, Not too bad, right? So what I want to show you as well, that's just for making the melody. But what if you're like, hey, I also need a bass line or I need to make like a single note melody. That is when you come into this picks A section and the picks A that correspond to here. So just like how before, 
I was playing with this pick B by triggering these chords first and then hitting this. If I play with the pick A section when these are selected in this pattern, then you get something like this. So you see what happened there? Because I was triggering the chords at the right time and because I was just hitting notes that are inside those chords, it's keeping everything within those chords, but you're still able to make unique patterns, unique melodies. So you can apply these things. You can do guitars, you can do bass lines, you can do guitar solos. Anything that as long as, you know, it can run through Instacord, you can get any kind of... And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or if you want a little bit more in-depth guide into Instacord or how to do your own things, definitely leave a comment down below. And I'm just trying to help everybody out, man. We're all doing this producer thing. We're all trying to make, you know, beats. We're trying to make our own music. So I'm here to help in any way that I can. So thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to learn, Reason 11 or anything specifically, let me know. Peace.